But now I'm definitely going to get them. Definitely. Can you describe the tie break, what your mindset was in that? And, and was there a key point or two on that the tie break? Do you remember? Uh, no, not really. I just remember I was telling myself, okay, normally I'm the one who's not experienced in like playing against someone who's been playing forever and whatever. And I think that the girls I played today, I, I don't. I think this was her first main draw match, and she qualified. And for me, I felt at the beginning of the match, I felt like I'd already done that at French Open, and I lost, and it was like you know whatever. So I kind of felt like I had the upper hand in, with the whole experience thing, because like I know what to do, I know I have to execute, I know I have to be aggressive, and I know I have to go for all of my shots. And I think that's kind of what got me through, because she got a little tight at the end, obviously. So I mean, for me, I was just like, I, I can do this, I can push myself just that little extra, and it helped, obviously. Did you let down in the second set, or did she play better? She played pretty well in the second set. I had a lot, a lot of chances. I think, I don't know how many break points I had, but it was a lot, and it, that was terrible that I didn't win any of them. <laughs> but um, I think that helped me in the third set, because I was like, you know, I know what to do. I know how to get up in the games, and I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I just have to execute, and that was the biggest thing for me today. Well, what are your expectations of yourself at this point? No expectations at all. I'm the I'm the underdog. You know, it's better to come in under the map instead of on top of it. So I'm just happy with everything that's, you know, going. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because then obviously I won't be able to play at all and then I'll just be like, eh, go in, please. So hopefully I'll just but keep Yeah, playing. you're pretty carefree in position. It's already, like, gravy for you at this point, you know? Uh, yeah, the today was definitely gravy. <laughs> Um, you know, I just try and be, you know, happy and just play. And my, you know, my grandparents came out. My brother's here. He's so happy. Uh, my mom was so nervous. I don't know how many times she got up and left. Like, it was crazy. Obviously, we're not the same type of person because she was freaking out. But, you know, I just try to play and be happy. And, yeah. Yeah. Was your mom always like that? No, not normally. But today, she was very nervous. My brother was, like, running up and down the side thing. I don't know what he was doing. I saw him one time run back and forth. But I, I don't know. Maybe they just wanted me to win. And What's his name? Sean. Yeah. So you were noticing where your mother and your brother were during the match? Yeah. I, my brother was standing behind my coach. And I saw him go up and back. And I was like, what is he doing? And then he would come in and clap, and then he would leave. And then I was like, okay. Every time I saw my coach, he was he was there, he wasn't there. So I was Did like, you ask him what he was doing? Yeah, he was like, I was nervous. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, hey. I, mean, I don't know. Why do you American teenagers, you and Armina and Christina, and Coco, do you, like, do you pay attention to what they're doing? And just, do you look at the draw and check your score? Uh, not really. <laughs> but I know that Christina won yesterday and Irina won yesterday. Uh, the person that I was most pleased with yesterday was Heather Watson. She's a really good friend of mine. I was, I know she's not American, but we all grew up playing ITFs together, and I think that was, for our group yesterday, she by far had the best performance. She, mentally, she was awesome. She never gave up. She fought the whole way, and I thought that was, I thought that was really awesome. Just for our, our age group, or whatever you want to call it, that was, that was good. What about Madison? Oh, and Madison Keys, I forgot about her. But she, she's not, she's younger than us, so she didn't really grow up playing ITS with us. But I saw her play. She played Jill. Obviously, Jill's another um, great player. She's awesome. She's older than us. She's been playing a while. But we're we're tight because we're PTH. We're protect this house. We're with Under Armour. So every time I see her, I'm like PTH, PTH. So uh, it was a bit disappointing, obviously, for her to lose, but awesome for Madison to get her first win. I wish I could have gotten my first win at 16 at U.S. Open. So it's a big step, and, you know, hopefully she can keep moving forward with it. How did you handle what happened in Paris? Like, just, just, just oh. you know, your, your, res your result there, where you, did you, did you think, feel like you handled the right way and built upon it, and did it change your attitude coming here? Yes, definitely, because I was like, after the match, I was like, I am so happy I got that out of the way. Like, I just needed to move past it. I know exactly what I had to do to win. I knew exactly what I needed to do in the there match. Here, sorry. There. Yeah. And I just couldn't do it. I was so tight. I was so nervous and so many things going through my head that I couldn't even really get out there and play. Mm -hmm. And obviously that just that wasn't good. But definitely I moved forward and I was like I know what I have to do. I just have to execute. And I've worked on that a lot in the last few 
months after Wimbledon, and it's helped me a lot to get through a couple of matches. And you know, it's always good when you can just you can look back and say, I did what I had to do right. in the match. Do, 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 does it change your preparation, or do, when you feel that? I don't know, any kind of anxiety or all that stuff coming on you again. Since you've been through it again, did you know, okay, don't be like, you know, you yeah, know what I'm saying? The at, process of mentally at, dealing with this stage. Yeah, three all in the tiebreaker, I was like, I am not going to get nervous. I'm going to go for my shots. I'm going to execute and I'm going to do what I have to do. And I won every point after that. So, yeah, it's helped. And, and just, sorry, just in Paris, did you, were you in a similar situation where you did not do Yeah, that? and I did not do that. And I didn't, because I didn't know, I'm, not that I didn't know, but I just didn't, I was so anxious and nervous and uptight that I couldn't say to myself, stop, right. look, this is what you have to do. And because it was just, everything was so overwhelming and I just, I'd never been in that situation right. before. So it was all new to me, but I definitely used it to, you know, better myself and better my game. Is the gold nail polish, does that mean anything? Oh my God, my mom bought this for me. But um, it's Chanel, I'm obsessed with nail polish. And yesterday, I was getting so annoyed. I was so frustrated. I, I had this pink nail polish on, and I took it off because it was chipping, obviously. And I painted this other pink one on, and I was like, this is disgusting. So I took it off, and I was like, I'm just going to go back to what I know. And then I painted my nails gold. And I was like, this is the best nail job I've ever painted, ever. So tomorrow's going to be a good day, and look what happened. How do you deal with the fumes? That's my question. <laughs> All that stuff, doesn't that mess up your... No, my aunt was like, what are you doing over there? I was like, I'm painting my nails. Relax. Give me a break. <laughs> you know, this is the best nail job I've done, so ever. Is little Serena and Serena Um, no. I can only do my own nails. I couldn't do anyone else's. My mom, like, my cousins are like, can you paint my nails? I'm like, absolutely not. So, no. But I love nail polish, so that's good. Okay. So are you in high school now? No, I'm done. I graduated. You graduated? Yeah. And all my friends are starting college. Well, they already started college. And are you thinking about that? Yeah, I'm taking online classes. Yeah, my mom's a professor at Kaplan, so okay. hopefully I get her and she can, like, help me as a teacher. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, guys. See you later. to prepare for your first U.S. Open Wimbledon? Um, 